In this video, we're going to use Desktop Server to create a local development website. This means it's going to be running right on our own little computer here, not out on the internet. I'm going to hit Next, and here we get to create a domain name. But note that it's going to end in .dev, not .com or net or org or anything else. It's going to be .dev. No one else on the internet will be able to access this, only you. So you can make it anything you want. There. I made my super cool website.dev. You can add www if you wish. Or not. Now there are a couple things on this page I want to show you. One is this blueprint option. It's going to install WordPress 4.0. Or blank non-WordPress. It would just be an empty space to put anything in. You could install Joomla or Drupal if you wanted. We're going to use 4.0 and then later I'll show you how to make your own blueprints. And then the site route. This is telling you where on your hard drive it is storing your site. So on my Mac hard drive, users, Topher, documents, websites, and then the domain name. That's where you'll go with your editor, whether it be Dreamweaver or Coda or Sublime or whatever, to edit any files you'll be adding for plugins or themes or whatever. So let's hit Create. There, so it created the source folder, virtual hosts and server name entries. So now your computer knows how to get to that web domain. It created a database and pre-configured WordPress files. Then it restarted the web and database services. So now we'll hit next. And there we are. I'm going to click this link, www.mysupercoolwebsite.dev slash wp-admin slash install.php. And it should look pretty familiar. Now on a Mac, it brings it up in Safari because that is the default browser. In Windows, it'll probably use Internet Explorer. However, you can use any browser you want. So I'm going to copy this and come over here to Firefox, which is my preferred browser, and simply use that. It doesn't really matter what browser you use. And from this point on, it's exactly like using any WordPress install. It just happens to be running on your computer instead of someplace out on the internet. And I don't mind you knowing my password, because you can't get to this. It's in my house. And now I will install WordPress. You may also note that this runs very very fast. Because it doesn't have to go out on the internet to get these pages. It's getting them right from your hard drive. That's another advantage of local development. And there we are. Now, WordPress 4.1 is available, so you could do an update. It doesn't care what you do with plugins, or themes, or anything. So let's do an update now. And there we are, we're at WordPress 4.1. Go back to the updates page, and you'll see that there are some themes we could update. And then we'll go back to the updates once again, and update a kismet. And there we are, we have a fully up-to-date site. So as a demonstration of how this can work without being on the internet, I'm going to turn the Wi-Fi off on my Mac. There, so I have no Wi-Fi at all. And yet, I'm still browsing this site. So if you're going to be someplace without a network, be it on a plane or in a car or whatever, or perhaps you live somewhere where you just simply have very slow internet, Having a local development environment like this can be really wonderful. It's very, very fast, and it allows you to build just as if you were on the internet.
In our next video, I'll show you how to make a blueprint for Desktop Server so that you can make your own configurations.